I just wanted to start this video off with a quick disclaimer. None of this is sponsored. Um, all these products were either gifted to me by friends and family or I bought them myself, but they're all stuff that I genuinely enjoy. Uh, so with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shelby Grace. Today I wanted to share the things I like slash summer favorites. Some of these things I have been using for years, or at least a year. Some of these things I just recently found within the past few months. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video if you enjoy. Maybe I'll make more. I have a couple different things, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off with some electronic stuff. One of the things I got last year, almost a year ago, right as like summer quarantine was starting, I got a Switch. I play this almost every single day. I grew up on Nintendo. I had a DS and a Game Boy growing up. So it's a little nostalgic, a little um, more fun. Two games I have currently are Animal Crossing and Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I did get Animal Crossing just a few months after it came out, but I do enjoy playing it. And the second thing for the electronic stuff is this power bank. I got this beginning of 2020, right before I went to New York, because I needed a new one. When I bought this, it was around $25, so I don't know how much it is now. This thing is amazing. The battery lasts for forever. Um, you don't have to have a separate charger to charge it. It has a port for it, but normally you can charge it just by plugging it into the wall. I can get like six charges fully from my phone out of it, I think. Four to six. It's from RAV Power. So I don't know, I, got, I just got it off of Amazon. But if you're looking for one, I highly suggest this one. Again, it's a little bit on the pricier side, but it's, I think it's worth it because battery lasts forever. You can get so many charges. Um, it's really convenient to have. The next thing is the wallflowers from Bath and Body Works. I have white sage, or white tea and sage for my room. These things are powerful. I have had this for maybe two weeks now, and it's just that used. This was probably around like the full, so it's barely used. I need to last for, I'm going to assume, forever. This one's lasted a bit. Right next to it, it's a lot of scent, but if you put it in like a room, it balances out really well. I do not know how much these are normally. We got them on a sale, but you can probably like go online or go to the store and find out. Again, um, Bath & Body Works the Wallflowers. Jumping to like basic things, so we started going to Universal and um, I've been going to theme parks for years and I've never found like the perfect bag to bring. I've like jumped between like five different bags. But when we started going to Universal, I started looking because we bought some reusable cups. And so I'm like, I want a bag that will fit like that and it's not too big but not too small because the lockers are kind of small. I went on Amazon and I found this Adidas backpack clear so it's even better it just looks like that it's got two pockets and it doesn't look that big but um it can fit a lot i can fit like gum chapstick hand sanitizer it's my phone keys wallet my charger the cop mask in here and my sunglasses case so it's actually pretty roomy on the inside i got this 17 dollars again i got it on sale but i think normally it's like 25 I really like it, again, Amazon, most of this is from Amazon. Next thing is, so like right when quarantine started and that Christmas, um, everyone was really into those like sweatshirt blankets. I think they're called cozies or comfies, I can't remember. Sammy got one and she really liked it and I wanted to get one. So for Christmas, I finally got one. My cousin gave me this one. I get cold a lot, um, even in my own home. So this is amazing because it's soft on the outside, but then it's more like a fleece material on the inside. 
and it's really, really comfy. I wear it every other day, if not every day. I don't know how much this was. Uh, again, I got it for a Christmas gift, but I think on Amazon they're around like $45. So yeah, there's that. Okay, switching gears to like beauty stuff. I found Soap and Glory two years ago, I want to say. I genuinely love their stuff. <laughs> First thing I got this around Christmas, so I, it's still a lot in here. It is the um, Scrub of Your Life um, body scrub. I use this like right before I shave, or if I just want to exfoliate a little more in the shower. It's like a gel. I really like it. I think it works, but that's just me. I don't know how much this is, but you can get like this at like a drugstore or a pharmacy or something. Next thing from Soap and Glory is their dry shampoo. I've tried like a couple of different ones. Um, this one and the Not Your Mother's dry shampoo, specifically the tinted one, are my favorites because I feel like it, it actually looks like you showered and it doesn't leave your hair like in that kind of matty, tacky kind of mess that a lot of other ones do. So there's that. And then the last beauty thing, I guess. I have seen these all over the internet, all over YouTube, all over TikTok. I didn't know if they actually worked, but like, I didn't have them to try it out. But it's the patches, the acne patches, or pimple patches, or whatever. This one is the Paradox Los Angeles brand, the Blink, uh, the Star Blemish patches. They don't, com I will say this, they don't completely get rid of the pimple, but it gets it really close. Like, it, I, it like, takes everything out so you're just stuck with like a little bit of it that you can easily get that goes away after like one or two days when you take it off like it doesn't look like it's there anymore for me they work I don't know if they work for anyone else again do not know how much it is I got it my grandma was, um, just happened to have them and so she's like hey do you want this I took it the last two things I wanted to share are food related items. First one, I've been drinking this for years since like middle school. Sammy introduced me to it. It's the Arizona tea. Um, this is the green tea with ginseng, I think it's like ginseng and honey. This is my favorite and I drink it all the time. I'm already like halfway done with this gallon and I think I got it like last week. But this is like my favorite tea. Again, get it at like any grocery store or like any pharmacy like Walgreens or CVS or something. And then the other thing, so I love coffee but sometimes the really bitter aftertaste um, that you can get with just straight black coffee, especially with like more bolder ones, is a little bit too much for me because I do have a sensitive stomach. But I love like iced coffees, cold brews and stuff. I found this brand, well not found it but I tried it, the stock cold brew, maybe back in like February. It's a black coffee and they have like different levels. They, I think they have ones that's less bold, some that are a little more sweet. This is the unsweet one. The bitter taste that you normally, like aftertaste that you get with coffee, it's not that it's completely gone, but it's so much more less than what you would get with just a normal coffee. I don't know if that's because it's cold brew or if that's just because of the specific brand, but I really like it. It tastes a little different than like other cold brews I had, but I do really enjoy it. Um, again, like any grocery store. Okay, so that's it for uh, my summer favorites. Subscribe if you aren't. That would be really awesome. Like this video if you liked it, and if you want to see more of these, um, you can follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and I have a TikTok too. Again, I don't really post on TikTok, but I do have one if you want to follow that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time, hopefully next week. Bye!